turns out IQ predicts almost nothing beyond slightly above normal, which is relevant. It predicts nothing about health, happiness, wealth, many of the key factors of success. This thing we call your AQ does. Your adversity quotient. It's your hardwired pattern of response to life stuff. We all have that thing inside us. And it's been permanently hardwired at least until now. Here's an astonishing fact. Not only can it be changed, it is age irrelevant. The differences that we see in AQ improvement when we take people through the protocol on doing this are statistically no different for someone who's 67 versus 17. Isn't that amazing? So when you think of all the factors that influence your happiness, well-being, and success. Which ones are affected by your AQ? I love that sound. This gentle mumble in the room. All of them, all of them, all of them. So what you're basically saying is you're saying, here's the one thing, the one thing, that if we could focus on in our busy, complex, demanding lives, if we could focus on one thing that would fortify and enhance everything else. Here's the second question. Can you think of anything more profound or more important for you to focus on that would have a bigger impact than this?